Hi Leo, I'm Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm using the Oracle of Vision deck by Hiro Manchetti. <clears throat> and I'm also using the Fantasy Cats Oracle. I'm not using the Seasons, I'm just using the um, Attitude cards and the Cats. Because I'm not doing a yearly spread and this is your card from the vision, uh, Oracle of Vision and I'll go deeper into that in a minute and I'm also using the Handsome Roberts deck first of all I'll be used, there's only four of these cards and this is your attitude for the day that um, they come out so that is Monday that is Wednesday, that is Friday, and that is Saturday and Sunday. So the time goes really fast, doesn't it? And I've got 15 uh, card counts from the 15, I will choose four. Okay. One, two, three, and four. They are very slippery. And then we put a tarot card there. I love these little cards. And they're so innocent and they're so clear for the camera. I hope you're doing well. If you're new, then please subscribe and hit that bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live. Okie dokie. So let's get started. You can find details uh, underneath this video. The email if you would like to have an extended reading. And uh, please share with family and friends. And also right here in the corner you can find a little white circle and that will take you to the website it's up and running now okay so now i'm going to go into this card first and i will show you that is a lady looking quite stern or rather in thought perhaps time is of essence perhaps you would like to have more time Let's have a look what this card means. Time, life. Time is a figure eight. As its centre, the city of déjà vu. Déjà vu means that something has happened before, or you think you have, you've got the feeling. And this was Robert Brault that said that time is a figure of eight. Well, it is. It's an infinity symbol if you take the hourglass. Okay, at its centre, the city of Dejavu. Time is ultimate thief. Gradually take, takes from us and never gives back. A hooded priestess holds out her hand, offering us the life a lifetime in the form of an hourglass. Its shape suggests a cycle nature that we might simply rotate and afresh and start afresh in smaller issues that may be true and indeed we often sense with repetition, but in the larger sense of the hourglass is simply an illusion. In truth, such perceived patterns are merely detours, detours along one's journey. Here we see that the golden sand does not merely fall to, re, to be recollected, but escapes if eventually the glass will be empty. That's quite true, I didn't see that. Time is commodity. That is never really ours, but merely something we have use of for a given period. The only way to ensure the balance 
in our favor is for us to use our allotted time fully before it is taken from us. Live every day, hour and minute to the fullest. And that's quite true. That's a beautiful way of explaining time. Time is man-made. It's, it's something, once it's been, it's gone. You can never have it back. So be careful. That's the message also here. Be careful how you spend your time. So enjoy it and use it wisely and to the full. Do what you can. That's the sun that's changing. And perhaps it's a sign from the universe. Use your time wisely. Because look, it is running out and will never be refilled. Okay, Leo, now we're going on to the attitude card and your attitude for Monday is desiring intimacy. Perhaps you would like to have more friends and have time with your friends to be more intimate and have fun. Or with just one special friend. Then you have the number nine card, there is an end to a face. There's an end to a face. And meeting. You might be meeting somebody on Monday. Wow, nice one. Look at that little elf talking to the cat. Get meeting, get ready, stay open to signs and messages. People, opportunities and experience show up when you greet the world. An open mind is aware, mind, mystery, surprises and a wonderful hide inside every moment. Stay open to sacred meetings in your life. People carry messages, allow your life to become an oracle. Engage in curiosities and follow interests. Seek advice, make new friends, ask for directions along the way, stay alert, listen to new ideas, move with curiosity of a child, stop judging and start embracing. Gifts are often disguised as hardships, greet them as you would an old friend, expect a good things to show up and they will. Prepare for pleasure and find pleasure. Imagine abundance to discover abundance. Desire desires you. The things you want often appear in a way you will never, you will not recognize them because they don't look the way you expected them to. Take your time and circle new potentials. Your precious uh, perceptions, sorry, will tell you everything you need to know. Trust and you can determine the difference between exciting, excitement and danger. Walk away if you need to and feign indifference. It is of no loss to you. You already possess all that you need. Connections are all options and optional. You hold the power to choose. Do not be pressured or influenced by others in uncomfortable ways. Cats suffer no fools. Cats suffer no fools. No, they'll give you a swipe with a little paw. So walk away from negative energy. But your desire is to be intimate and to make friends, so go out there and mingle. Listen to your intuition, whether they are good people or negative people. <clears throat> and you might be meeting an earth person. This could be a Virgo, Capricorn or a Taurus. This is a new beginning as you have the Ace of Pentacles, 
This could be a job. This could be a hobby. Something with durability and long term, a new beginning that will bring you abundance. Perhaps time is of essence or it is the right time that you are in the right place. Awesome, awesome message. Then we're going on to Wednesday. Attitude, desiring balance. And you've got number eight, grooming. Make sure that you look awesome when you get this card. You've got the little ladybird there and and that means in Holland it stands against um, aggressiveness. Don't like aggressiveness. And you've got number eight here. And so it is, if you turn it sideways, it's also the infinity symbol. <coughs> Excuse me, infinity symbol. Okay. So always take care of yourself and look your best especially when you go to a job interview or a meeting. Pamper yourself, treat yourself as gently as you would a child. Listen to your inspirations. What makes you happy? What makes you beam? Be the beacon. Eat wisely. Got number 10, an ending and a new beginning. Happy families, perhaps reunion with family and friends. So you're getting that intimacy. There might be an extension in the family. It could be a dog. Wow, amazing. Oh, you might be getting that job. Like I said, this new beginning will bring you in abundance. The word abundance is quite significant in this reading, desiring, belonging. You would like to belong to a group or a family, make your own family at work or at a, at a club. Then you've got number uh, 13, climbing. There you go, a promotion. So that might be the promotion that you're getting or a gift of money, a wage rise beautiful. Put one foot in front of each other. Don't You can't run before you can walk. It takes time. Get a higher view. Get a different perspective. Look from above what it looks like. That's on Friday and wow this is magic. You've got the golden touch, you've got the Midas touch, you've got the, the king of pentacles. Like I said, you might be meeting a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. This is the man and you might be learning from this man. You might be climbing higher in status. Awesome. You might now know or have learned from somebody else how to invest like the king of pentacles sorry transformation at the weekend and then we've got enchantment enchantment and that is number 15 you're back into balance because that becomes a six use your charm use your magic look at the cats beaming looking at you how enchanting you are. You're like hypnotizing everybody. You are like the cat in the lamp. You're drawing uh, like flies drawing towards the light. You are gathering people together. Awesome. But you might need time out at the weekend because you are that magnet. You found your way. You're on the right path. But you might be a little bit spiritual and sensitive at the weekend because we've got the hermits. 
and the hermit is um, um, also uh, represents also Virgo. Okay, he also needs time to think because how to invest and how to maintain this the status, the money, the goods, the earthly goods for durability in the long term. So that's why he withdraws and thinks, contemplates, meditates, and evaluates. And he also has a light load. He doesn't have a big suitcase or a big sack like they had in those days because he travels light. He travels li uh, light with his wisdom. He travels light. He, all he takes with him is his life experience and his knowledge and trusts on good faith and his knowledge to be given what he needs. Awesome. Now, I've got a little bit of a different thing. I've got charms and I do charm reading as well. I've got all the colours of the chakra and I've got not all the colours of the angelic chakra. So this is this bead is white and it represents the universe, the white light in the universe. And when you study Reiki, they have they say let the white light come through your crown chakra and clear all your other chakras. So I'm going to put it down here and I won't look. Now, which chakra will you have? You've got the green chakra. The green chakra is in Reiki, the heart, and pink is in the and green is in the angelic and the heart. So that is um, Archangel Shamiel is pink for the heart, and green is Archangel Raphael. So if you need help and guidance and protection, ask Archangel Raphael. Now, you've got desiring balance. You've got the key. You have the key to get balance. Use your wisdom wisely. You know how to get balance by meditation or contemplation, sitting quietly, listening to music, get some rest, have sleep. You can open the door to sleep. You can open the door to balance. You have the key in your own hands. <clears throat> that is balancing. Then climbing. Yes, you have good luck. Wow. You have good luck. You've got the clover. I don't know whether you can see it, but you've got the clover. So good luck is on your sights. There you go. You will be climbing that ladder and meeting, you might meet your love on Monday. You might meet your love on Monday. You've got the heart. Very delicate situation. It's not a closed heart. It's very light and delicate. That is on the meeting. I think there could be a new love, like I said. Well, my darling, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please like and share. And remember, together we stand strong. So give us the thumbs up. Thank you very much for being here and enjoy your week.